Yeah, I just wanted to do this video, which is about the HJC Rafa 70 on my left and the HJC Rafa 11 on my right. Now, these helmets, percentage-wise, they're not really in the same category in terms of price. So the Rafa 11 is starts at around 260, I think, and the Rafa 70 starts at um, around about the 200 pound mark, and that is delivered, and that is UK. Um, so yeah, there is that. So to compare them, you know, already this is more expensive, so you would expect it to be better. There are some similarities. So they both run a HJ26 visor. So I could take the visor off the 11 and put it on the 70. I think that's just useful information because sometimes when I was looking for aftermarket visors online, um, people had them listed for maybe the 70, but not for the 11. And I knew that I could bid on it and put it on the 11. And it's just, you know, little things like that can be a little, little bit of help for some people. Um, so there is that. In terms of other similarities that they have, I guess one of the similarities that I would say is they're both very good helmets for the money. Uh, the previous helmet that I had was a Shoei GT Air, which I didn't really like. I thought it was a very nicely finished helmet, but for the price, it had some of the worst ventilation that I had experienced, and it fogged up really badly. So considering this is like £200, I would say that in terms of features that you might want, like noise, um, how cool you can keep, the weight of it, all these kind of things, I would say it's kind of on par with the GTA at half the price. But that's that's a different that's a different video that I'm not going to do anyway. Um, so one of the things with the 70 is that HJC say it's for a naked bike, so it's designed for the wind to kind of hit it head on, whereas the HJ11 is for a sports bike. So it's more if you're in like a tucked position. That's how they kind of, you know, that's what they claim anyway. In reality, I found that the HJ11 was the better helmet overall. Um, it deals better with wind noise. It's better aerodynamically. So when you're on a fast piece of road, I've not done any track riding, but I'd imagine if you're on the track and you're moving your head about, it just doesn't push on the helmet. The wind doesn't push on the helmet as much. It just cuts through the air a lot better. Um, in terms of like comparing these two for finish, you would think that the Rafa 11 has the better finish, but these metal vents, the areas around these metal vents are not very well refined. They're a little bit bibbly bobbly. So if we can try and show that on the camera. So the parts, the white parts, near the vents are like bibbly bobbly um, and I think for like a flagship helmet if this is your best helmet you should really you should really have nailed that um, let's try and get this one on the camera because this is the worst one and you can kind of see the line isn't straight on that back edge it's all kind of like wibble wobble um, I'm not sure how hard it is to cut out you know helmet shells it's probably very difficult to get a straight line there if that's the case just put a surround around it you know do it better so it's not on show that's just kind of like something that I really dislike about the finish on this helmet. Um, one of the other things, I guess, is these little... So it's meant to have a little kind of tab on top, right? So that you can feel that with your glove. But on this one, even though I've not really used the helmet much, the little tab has actually come off. And yeah, these pieces of rubber, they're not good. They don't feel good. And I don't know if that's going to be a massive issue if you've not got bit of rubber on there and you've got your gloves on there are you going to be able to turn these plastic bits i'm not too sure um so yeah there is some like quality issues that i have with the 11 uh, with the 70 obviously i think they've done a better job with the vents because not in terms of their ventilation but in terms of their look because they've covered everything up um even this bit which is an exposed kind of metal mesh is done better than the rafa 11 somewhere that i feel maybe the 11 is a bit nicer is the badge it's actually like in like a piece of plastic on there, which is nice. I'm not really a fan of this kind of, I don't know, painted over badge. I think it looks a little bit cheap, but once again, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, if you can see on here, probably not because of the light reflection, you might actually see a line where they've taped it. So you've got gloss and then matte, and you can actually feel that line there. I get that, you know, you're not going to put lacquer on the gloss, so it's going to be a bit lower maybe. But uh, in between these two, there's actually a line and it looks like that's the tape line. So stuff like that. 
you know, not that great in terms of, uh, I guess, the end product quality. But yeah, um, quite critical things anyway. So there is that with the finish. Uh, one of the features that the Rafa 70 does have that the 11 doesn't is the visor. So it has a inbuilt sun visor in there. But that's why I got the tinted visor. So these tinted visors are like uh, UV kind of um, protective, I believe. So yeah, you've got that. It's also got a lock. So you can use that little slide for the visor and you can lock it in place. There we go. So when you go over a bump, the little visor doesn't pop down. And that's a problem I had with the Shui GTA that I had previously. I found sometimes that the visor would kind of, it wouldn't lock in place. So it would kind of pop out like that. And you'd have to kind of either push it back up or use a slide when you was riding. And that became a little bit annoying. In terms of comfort, I would say that the Rafa 11 is just a little bit more comfortable, but only not because of the internals or anything, just because it cuts through the hair better and it deals with wind better and noise better. It's a quieter helmet. Um, in terms of the actual padding inside, I would say they're very, very similar. They both have a D ring, like a double D lock system. Uh, one of the things that actually surprised me is the weights. So I did weigh the Rafa 70 um, and with the pin lock because the pin lock's not included in the weight on the back of the helmet. So there's a sticker on the back of these helmets here and it shows you the weight, it tells you the weight. Um, but I don't think that includes the actual pin lock insert, which is probably another 50 grams. So what I found is that this is uh, 1,494 grams. So you could just say 1.5 kilos, which I'm guessing is kind of average to heavy. I'm not too sure. One of the reasons it's extra weight is because it does have that internal visor. Um, I'm not too sure on the materials of the shell, if they use the same materials, haven't really looked it up. It's not something that I check yet. Maybe when I get more in depth with helmets, I'll check that. But yeah, so this one is coming in at 1.5 roughly. And this one comes in 1,387. So you could say it's basically 1.4, but it just feels, it's weird. It just, it's a hundred grams. It just feels so much lighter. So it might be because the weight is higher up in the helmet. I don't know. I don't know if you could really, could you really feel 100 grams? I don't know, it just feels so much lighter, even though the scales are not gonna lie. Um, so there is that. Uh, one of the other things is you get a nicer bag as well with the Rafa 11. You get one that's kind of lined with cotton. So I would say both of them are really good options. Um, if your budget is 200 pound, I don't think you can go wrong with this. If you've got more to spend and you don't need the sun visor, then I kind of feel like the Rafa 11 is the better helmet. Um, when I had my naked bike, I had a screen on there, it's quite a big screen, let's say 70 miles an hour on the UK motorway. It kind of felt like the Rafa 11 was the same on that bike, but when I didn't have the screen on that bike. So it felt like the Rafa 11 was quite a bit better in terms of uh, cutting through the air, aerodynamics and wind noise to the point where it felt like, yeah, the 70 was equal to the Rafa 11, but only when there was a screen on the front of the bike, which kind of says a lot, I think. Um, but like I said earlier, I had a GT Air. It was a good helmet and it's kind of a well-rated helmet, high quality. And I wouldn't say that the Rafa 70 at 200 pounds, which is about half the price, is half the helmet. I would say it kind of rivals the GT Air in terms of its wind noise um, and its comfort. I think the GT Air is a lot nicer finish. But yeah, I don't think you can go wrong for the money with either of these ones. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it.